In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate the Plospec Scene Tool. Understanding uh, scenes or views is very important because you're going to be using these to generate your 2D plans, your building materials, your estimate, but also they're going to enable you to model or draw smarter and faster. It's for that reason that we recommend that you set up your scenes right from the very beginning of a project, but you can do it at any time. Simply click on the Prospect Scene tool, which is the camera icon, and this will load the dialog. And in here, you're going to choose your scene or view set. You can select all, which is every single one of our standard uh, template scenes, or you can just bring in uh, your desired scenes depending on what you're trying to output. You can also delete all of your scenes. Next, you just need to decide what uh, style you want to use. So whether or not you want to present your drawings in traditional 2D black and white, or if you want them in color, or if you're going to be presenting them in a presentation mode in semi-render. Now I've already generated my scenes and I selected all and color. And you press submit and all of your scenes will have been generated for you. Now I'm just gonna quickly run through our standard scenes. And it's important to note that these are templates only. Uh, they're for you to build upon and manipulate however you want and uh, depending on your style, drawing style and so forth. Obviously the more that you continue to mass out and um, design your projects, uh, all of your scenes will be updated simultaneously. So at the moment I'm in a presentation scene. This is activating shadows. It's also cleaning it up so it's a better kind of presentation mode. It's the kind of scene that you use to set up perspectives, for example. We have site plan, your slab or floor, plan, floor plans. And for example, if I click on my floor plan, you can see that I have it set up. I've got my desired uh, section hatching and so forth. Um, I've got my roof plan. I've got my elevations. And obviously, I've chosen for these to be displayed in uh, color. But we also have what we call modeling enrichment scenes. And they're there just to help you model smarter and faster. The all scene, for example, will show you every single material, every single component that you have in your project. It's also the best scene to use if you're doing a bill of materials or an estimate, as typically you'll want every single material to come, come through in your takeoff. The structure off scene will get rid of the structure. It might just clean up your drawing a little bit uh, so you uh, are not getting distracted by the structure. The roof off scene obviously just turns off the roof and enables you to uh, look at your floor plans without the roofs getting in the way. Your structure scene or view enables you to uh, view your structure, uh, to actually analyze your timber or lumber or steel and uh, also design in this view. Uh, we also have, if you get lost, for example, other modeling enrichment scenes such as center model where you can just bring it back into its view, so uh, rather than having to click the zoom extents. All of our scenes are templates and they're directly linked to layers. Layers are what you use to control uh, what materials or components are coming through in each scene. So because our scenes are just templates, we don't know what you want to achieve in your drawing. You might want to show furniture, for example. I have a bed in my floor plan, but the way that we've set it up right now for the template is that the furniture scene, or layer I should say, has been deactivated. If you want to display your furniture, you can simply tick it, and now you're going to be able to see your furniture in your floor plan. To save your changes, simply right click over the scene that you're in and select update. And this will remember all of the new layers that you've activated or that you have turned to be invisible. 